Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the Whitestone Dome Glass Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it's been about two weeks now that I've been testing tempered glass screen protectors for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and they've all been failing. Uh, touch sensitivity issues where they just, as you're typing, things don't work well, areas of the screen don't work. Glass, I would say friendliness when it comes to cases, just not there. They fall off too easily. They uh, also, um, some, if you drop the phone, they pop out too easy as well. And forget about them getting wet. So the dome uh, glass solution from Whitestone is supposed to address all those things. Let's take a look at some of the features. So first of all, what you have is the ability to use um, every touch uh, capability that you have on your screen, uh, on your phone, without any kind of impact. So you shouldn't be pressing hard or double tapping. Uh, full cover, fully clear, and it's going to give you edge-to-edge -edge protection without pe uh, peeling off. One of the things that is unique about this solution is that it does uh, the screen itself, which is tempered glass, and the adhesive come in two different packages. So you have to literally apply the adhesive in its liquid form, and you use a UV light, very uh, which as you see here, to harden it. So if you have gone to a nail salon and you see the ladies actually having their nails done and then they put it under that UV light to harden it, that's what this is all about. Now, one thing I, I asked the manufacturer and I also asked some fellow YouTubers is, who have experience with this, can this be removed without damaging your screen? And the answer is yes, it can be removed and it's very easy to remove it and there's no impact to your screen. So rest assured that if you do apply this and you go for this, that it will not damage your screen and you can remove it at a later date. Number two, this is uh, not the least expensive tempered glass screen protector on the market. But if you find yourself buying one, two, three, four or more tempered glass screen protectors like what you find on Amazon, you're going to find that you're going to quickly run into this price. So buy it once, get it done right, and then also have a screen protector that if you submerge your phone underwater, you don't have to worry about water coming under the screen. Let's see what the installation is all about. Now inside the box, you're going to find uh, your UV light. You notice that there is a micro USB cable included because you need to power this in order to pr provide that UV light that's going to harden this liquid that you see here. You do have a glass screen protector and I will say that this glass screen protector does not have that micro dot so uh, what I'll do is I'll just remove it out of here just for a second we won't peel it off but I'll try to show it in an angle there are no micro dots which is also something that's nice to find no micro dots at all you do have um, some dots down here that are for alignment but nothing on the screen this uh, tray that you see here is actually an alignment tray where we're going to put our phone and then use this uh, to align it. And one of the biggest things, uh, one of the things that's really critical about this installation is that you do this on a flat surface so that everything is level. You also have some additional uh, uh, cleaning uh, tools here and uh, leveling tools that you will use uh, throughout this installation. So dust removal stickies and also uh, wipes. Now one thing I wanted to address right at the very beginning is how screen protector, uh, how case friendly is the screen protector. So what I have here is a Spigen case which is very restrictive, has that rubber that comes in really close and I have just taken the actual glass and I just placed it right on top. Uh, notice how much play you have so it does fit the Spigen case which means UAG and some of the other cases that are also very restrictive you're going to find that. Uh, once again that's not a bad feature of the case it's just that the case is highly protective. So you do have some area some wiggle room you can see that right here and you also have wiggle room on the side. So it, that's important because as you put on the screen protector you do not want the screen protector lifting uh, when you put it inside of a case. Now in all the videos I talk about how important it is to be in a dust free environment. And this is definitely one of those situations. Uh, so make sure your fan is off, make sure your air is off. Because once you get the liquid on the screen and you harden the solution, if you have dust, it's going to be there and it's not going away. You just can't take it off and just wipe it off and then put back the screen protector. So really important that you take your time, you wipe it down, and you make sure that it's clear. Now, once it's clean, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this tray, which is an alignment tool, and then we're going to put the cover on it, and I'll show you the next step. So the first step is wipe down your phone. Now it doesn't matter if your phone is brand new it could have just come out of the box. You could have just removed that little plastic that's on the screen and it's brand smanking new. You still want to clean it. You want to clean it because there's any kind of adhesive 
that is any kind of residue that's there is going to impact the adhesive that you're going to put on there. So wipe it down and then once we wipe it down we're going to use these towels right here to dry it off. Now once you've applied that alcohol wipe I'm just going to dry it up and then I'll put it in the tray. So now I have it in the tray. Um, I gave it another inspection just to make sure that there isn't any dust and everything looks great. Now the next step is to put the top tray right here right on top. Now the unit does come with two adhesive models. You're just going to use one to apply it to the screen. The second one is just in case you mess up with the first one, you can try it again using the second bottle. So we're going to set one aside, set this aside. Now we're going to place this tray uh, cover on top, but before you do that you'll want to separate this piece. This piece is going to go here on top and it's going to be used to disperse the actual adhesive. So we'll place this right here just like so. All right. And keep in mind that before I apply the adhesive I'm going to inspect the screen one more time since I'm moving things around to make sure there isn't any dust. So the next step is to insert this pin here, take this unit place it right here. This is going to hold the liquid in a vertical position so that it disperses evenly. You want to make sure that you're on a level surface so that everything comes out evenly. Now before I actually open this up and put it on it, I'm going to inspect the screen one more time. Now let's go through what's going to happen next. Uh, this little pin is used to keep the screen protector, this protector that we're going to put on there in a second, um, in an angle like this. Now you'll notice that on your tray you have an arrow on each side. Uh, once this liquid is is on the screen we're going to press down here just slightly to tilt. You notice how this tilts? So that it tilts and once the liquid moves from this position and it's right here um, on this center area, it goes past this line, you're going to see the bubble move over, we're going to remove the pin and the glass is going to come down. We're going to wait 80 seconds to let the pressure of the glass that's coming down disperse the actual adhesive evenly. Right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, taking a look at this adhesive bottle, this is the area that we're going to insert here. Once you have it in place and you've tightened it, you're going to remove the top. Once you unscrew the top, air is going to come in through the top and it's going to allow the liquid to disperse. Okay. A little tight. Okay, we'll give it a second just to make sure that it's all out. Now as you can see the adhesive is uh, right in the center, right by the clock sign. I'm going to remove the tempered glass screen protector film from the back. We're then going to start from the bottom, place it right here at the bottom and it's going to rest right on top of that tab. So you see how it's right here? Make sure that it's nicely aligned and that it's right here on this tab. Now you're not going to remove this pin from its place until you've pressed it down on the side and again this liquid moves from being here to somewhere where this arrow is. Alright, so I confirm that all sides are nicely aligned and that this is um, within the tray and you notice I'm running my fingers right here just to make sure it's true. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt and watch this come, this bubble, move more towards the center. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so you see how it's right there in the center? Yep, I'm going to move it a little bit this way. Probably shouldn't do this, but hey. For whatever reason, I don't feel it being centered. So this is where you want it around here. And then once you have it around there, you can remove this and it should fall down. There it goes. So you see how it's coming out like that? Now what you're going to do is you're going to wait 80 seconds. We're going to wait for this to completely uh, cover all the areas and you see how it's doing it. Over here looks, everything looks good. I just want to make sure that it reaches all those areas. There it's fully dispersed and now it's working its way up on the top. And once it's done this 80 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and look at the curing process. Now for those of you who may be asking, well how do you know if the adhesive has gone um, through completely? You notice how the screen here is dark, but you notice up here that there's still a couple areas that it hasn't reached. Once you see it completely um, cover those areas, you know that the adhesive spread evenly.
So we're just waiting, and it's actually moving its way slowly but surely into those areas. So here's a close-up. So you can see how those two corners on the upper left and right-hand corner are still um, getting the adhesive dispersed, and you can see it moving slowly. So you can see here that the adhesive is almost all the way through. So we're going to give it that 80 seconds, and it should cover everything nicely. Now I went a little bit longer than 80 seconds because I wanted to make sure that the adhesive covered from end to end. So you'll notice there are it's completely covered the entire screen protector. I have no white areas or areas where the adhesive uh, isn't present. So now the next step is to use the UV light. Now the UV light has these legs right here that you just open up like this. You're going to plug it into a USB source and then what we're going to do is we're going to run it 15 seconds uh, across the top, the middle, and the bottom and then we're going to remove it clean it and then we're going to do the same process again. Now you'll notice that there's a little power switch here that you'll press for the UV light so you just press it like this and then the UV light turns on. Now what we're going to do is uh, carefully put it on the outside of the uh, two cases or of the frame right here and then we're just going to keep it at the top area for 15 seconds and then we're just going to move it down. I'm going to move it down now to the next position. Now the UV does turn off at times, I just turned it on again and I'm just going to continue to move it every 15 seconds over. So now I just moved it to the next position and turned it on again. I'm actually letting it stay a little bit longer than 15 seconds, I'm actually doing 30 seconds just in case. So I moved it to the next position now and I'm still now curing the bottom part of the phone. Alright, so we went through the curing process from top to bottom. Uh, now that our next step is to remove the phone from the actual tray. We're going to wipe it down and then we're going to cure it one more time. Move that over to the side and then we're going to just going to clean it up. I'm going to use the next alcohol swap so I'm going to go ahead and clean that. You don't have to worry about how much pressure you use. Again, touch the screen as you normally would. Wipe this down. and then we're going to dry the screen with another one of those microfiber towels. Okay, next step is to dry it. And again, don't be afraid to, to rub on the screen. Don't be afraid to think that the screen is going to move from the adhesive. Just wipe it down as if you were wiping down glass. Next step is to cure it again. So we're going to power this thing up. And we're going to give it 15 seconds in each position. And we'll just move it all the way down. I'm probably going to be doing 30 seconds just to be on the safe side. All right, so just moving it down and putting it on for another 15 to 30 seconds. All right, so now that that's complete, I'm going to wipe it down one more time with the alcohol wipe. I'm also going to wipe um, all the areas around the phone just to make sure uh, that there hasn't been um, any adhesive uh, anywhere. So I'm going to just wipe it down just to make sure that I have everything nice and clean. And then I'm just going to use the microfiber towel to clean things up. And then we'll look and see what the screen looks like. So as you can see on the clock on my phone, because I've had it on throughout the whole um, experience, it did take some time to get the uh, screen protector on. But I like just taking my time and I'm also taping uh, this installation. I have to say that this is in my opinion, probably the best screen protector that I've ever installed, and the clarity is absolutely fantastic. So I want you to take a look at, we'll go ahead and angle it a little bit so you can see the screen. It literally does not look like there's anything on this unless you know you look up here in the corner. Uh, the actual responsiveness of the home screen, uh, navigation left and right, is absolutely perfect. Uh, sensitivity on the top, you know, to be able to bring down your menu just like that, very, very sensitive. I don't have to do anything when it comes to being able to bring uh, that down. And again, navigation, home button, nothing is impacted. Now, for those of you who are concerned about the corners, I just wanted to show you the angles here. Nothing is going to get underneath this um, like the other screen protectors because the adhesive comes through this and puts the pressure down. Uh, liquid, if you do submerge your phone because you like taking pictures in the water, you don't have to worry about the screen protector having water underneath the screen. You'll notice, let's look at this right here so you can see that right there. Notice how nice and clean that is. We'll flip it this way. Very nice and clean. 
no distortion. And look at it right there. So once again, beautiful. Now, for those of you who are concerned about the image quality or the clarity, this is a photo that I took with the Note 8. And you can see beautiful. This is uh, using that live focus. So you can see we can go to the normal picture. And then we can go back to the live focus picture. And we'll come into it. Again, nice and clear. No impact to the overall clarity or usability of the phone. Now, here is the phone in the Spigen protector. You can see right here how there's still some space on the bottom and on the top as well and the sides are doing well no impact whatsoever this is definitely a buy well without a doubt this is the best screen protector on the market for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 you've been asking for the best this is definitely it the Whitestone dome glass great touch sensitivity great clarity full adhesive no water problems easy to install if you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment area below. And if you're wondering, hey, why do you have two? It's because I'm going to give some of these away. Now, we'll be giving a couple of these away once this video hits 5,000 views. And you need to share, subscribe, uh, go to my Twitter page and comment about it that you'd like to win it. And also follow me on Facebook. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment area below. Thanks for watching, guys.